hello everyone welcome back in this session let's um, create the next js crud operations um, using the next js prisma client uh, to connect to the database and the postgresql as a um, database as a backend database okay so there are different steps in this uh, tutorial so the first one is database setup and the second one is loading the initial uh, data uh, using uh, Prisma uh, Studio and the third one is uh, listing all the records in the table and display in the screen the fourth one is deleting a record fifth one is creating a record and final one is updating the record so these are the steps that we are going to follow so let's dive into it So I am creating a new project here. So I'll name it as Next.js Cloud Operation Posts. We are going to create the posts. I'm going to use the TypeScript ESLint, Tailwind, yes, SRC. I want to use the app router. No need to change the alias name now it is creating the base project for us so now the project is created I am inside the project folder let me run the application so the application is up and running on 3000 port now I'm starting the application in the browser so now you see this is a base application now let's start by making some changes to this um, next.js application and uh, implement the CRUD operations so now I imported the project to Visual Studio Code so as a first step let me add the Prisma client and this will make an entry into the dependencies folder which is package.json so this is the entry that is added okay second step is initializing the play prisma client for that npx prisma init you need to run and it will create the this particular prisma folder and a file with the prisma scheme schema and now let's start updating this and add the database So let me remove this one. Okay, the client is we are saying Prisma client, the provider, and this is the database, and the PostgreSQL is the database, and we need to provide the URL here. So I'm replacing the database URL with my local host database. So I have a local Postgres which is running on localhost 5433, and it is running only on my computer. So this is the first step to include. Now we can define the model here. So I'm going to create a CRUD operations for a different type of posts. So here we can define a model and it will create a table in the PostgreSQL when we run the migration. So ID is going to be int and it will be auto generated id so and the default value as auto increment so it will automatically when we insert the record ID will be automatically set for this and I'll add some more columns I'll take a name whoever wrote the post and uh, title of the post and every post will have content so content of the post is string and I'll add created it 
as a timestamp it's a date time and I'll add a default one set to the current timestamp of the database so this is how you can set default value and even updated it also updated timestamp of the record because when we update a record we need this we'll migrate this particular table to the database so it is initializing the database so now it created the database just for confirmation let's check SQL let me just refresh and if we expand so there is a table right now and it, it has ID name title content and these six columns the columns that we mentioned in our migration with these columns this one as a table it is created right now so instead of going to the table and look at the data where Prisma is providing one feature where we can directly open the studio and the database table using npx prisma studio and it will open the browser where we can directly input the data or test it let me run it now if you see prisma is loaded this and there is one model which is post once i click it i can start adding the data here okay So if you see add a record, this is auto incremented and the name I can say okay. So I'll say the title as environment, name as Shiva, content as environmental studies and etc and it will take current timestamp now let me change the record so now you see there is one record since i added this record here it will be even reflected in the database table as well okay there is no content added content is missing let me add okay now the record is updated here the same record will be let me just show it okay now you can see the data this same record will be listed in the database now i'm refreshing the database now if you see the same record that i added from the studio i can see it so we no need to work with this and we can just simply um, use the browser and um, validate the data instead of looking at here okay